um, search, do an author search, um, and I will search for my own name. And you can see that it draws all the results from Google Scholar, but rather than having them on a web interface where you can only see 10 at a time and you need to click through and through and through and through, with Publisher Parish, you can see all of them at the same time. This is going to take a little bit of time um, because uh, Google Scholar doesn't allow you to um, submit a lot of queries at the same time because lots of people are using Google Scholar and the data source would uh, become very much overloaded if everyone uh, was searching at the same time. So I'm going to cancel this now because we don't want to wait two or three minutes to uh, wait for all the researchers, resources to come in. And I'm going to go to a search that I've done before uh, with Google Scholar. Um, which I've done a couple of days ago, which has all the results already. And I can show you what you can do. You can actually sort these results on title. So you can go through the individual articles or you can sort them by year and you can look at the most recent articles first, or you can look at the earliest articles first. You can see that there's some that don't have a year, um, but you can see the earliest article was in 1995. Or you can sort them on publication and you can have a look at um, publications published in a particular journal. If you are interested in publications by a particular author, a better way to search in Google Scholar would be to search for Google Scholar profiles. Do you know what um, a Google Scholar profile is? No? Then um, I will search for my own profile. You can see I've, I've searched, one of you had Suman as your um, your supervisor, I've recently searched uh, for Suman. I'm now going to search for my own. Um, I'll just include my last name only. This is my Google Scholar profile. Uh, so you can see that it's a profile where um, acad that academics have created themselves, listing all of their publications that appear in Google Scholar. Uh, but rather than um, having to go through the normal Google Scholar uh, database, you can search for this profile and that's much quicker. But not every academic has created a profile. But if you're looking for um, a particular academic, I would suggest trying to search for a Google Scholar profile first, because that's the easiest and the quickest way to get a full overview of what this particular academic has published. So as I said, you can, Sort by title, you can sort by year, you can sort by publication, uh, but you can also sort by citations. Um, and citations are a good way to establish how many other people in the academic world thought that this was an important contribution. Um, so we'll go to doing a literature review search in a minute. and. And this really allows you to see um, whether an article um, has really been picked up by other academics or whether it was published and subsequently ignored uh, by everyone else. You can also sort by citations per year because obviously articles that have been published in the last couple of years will not have as many citations as articles that have been published 20 or 30 years ago. Um, so an article that was published one or two years ago and already has a lot of citations is likely to be a really important article for your PhD. So this is searching by individual academics and this can be really useful if um, your supervisor has mentioned that there are maybe two or three key academics 
in your field of study that have done really important work and you want to verify that you have actually covered all their work um, in your literature review. Thank you.